Okay, so here's a simple circuit that you can make with a uh, wall very, or they're not even very axe anymore. They're uh, they got some kind of uh, solid state like SCR type device in there, and it basically chops the electricity. But anyway, they're they you can get them at Home Depot, and uh, they're light dimmers, and um, <coughs> You know, personally, I do prefer Variax. Well, I like this guy over here. They're great. They perform well. They're very linear when you turn the dial, but they're expensive. These things are cheap. They uh, basically change how they trigger, and they chop the electricity and let some through, and, and uh, more or less, depending on how much you spin the dial here. And uh, so it makes a cheap, compact power supply. But uh, one of the issues with these guys is that um, you have to kind of uh, do, do something to control the voltage because the voltage will actually come through at a high power. And so what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to filter it. So I have a, a full wave bridge rectifier that I made here. Let's uh, refocus. Okay, so here's four diodes. So we're, uh, let's just go to the wall. Okay, so we have a wall plug and we follow it up here and we take the hot. The hot goes into our variac and then it comes out of this red wire into a full full wave ridge rectifier. Okay, I'll separate the wires. And I have a filter capacitor here. It's plus and minus. And, and it's in parallel with a big ass wire wound resistor. So that, make sure if you use a capacitor, it can withstand the voltage. You don't want these things blowing up. It should be at least uh, 200 volts, because 110 is actually more than 110. And uh, quite a bit more, 140 more likely. And here's a high power, this is 500 ohm, wire wound resistor that can do, uh, what, 50 watts. Okay. And... Uh, you may want to play around with that because if the resistor is too small, what will happen is, is the voltage will drift up because this thing is actually triggering uh, at high voltage, but it only lets part of the waveform through. But if you keep on letting it trigger and don't have a load on it, it will charge up your capacitor the full voltage. And if you wanted a variable power supply that, that uh, starts out at low voltage and you want to hook it up to something, it's, it's not going to start out low voltage, it's going to be like bang. So this will bleed down the voltage, so you need this resistor here. But on the downside of this, um, it's always going to be dissipating power. So the bigger this resistor is, the more power it's going to dissipate. And uh, <clears throat> so I don't know, let's, let's uh, turn this guy on. Okay. And uh, here we have 7 volts, that's as low as it goes, because uh, the bigger the resistor you have, the more voltage it will go down. And uh, let's tr try twiddling the knob here. And okay, we're at 60 volts. It's got kind of a jump there. We can twiddle it up more: 70, 80, 90, 115, and uh, 144. So, like I said, we'll turn the the dial, dial back down again. 90, so it's got kind of a jump there, but this is a very nonlinear device, and um, it's a very cheap power supply, so I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, at least it's variable. We can probably do some neat experiments with this. Maybe if I play around with uh, this resistor here, we can uh, tune it up a little bit so it has a better range. But anyway, let's... Uh, get a full view of this and I'll, I'll show a circuit of, of this in a second. Okay, so here's a circuit diagram where we put the voltage 110 volts in here and uh, this variac goes on the hot side. The neutral is down here and it basically goes to our full wave bridge rectifier. And you might be able to do this with a single diode, but uh, I had some issues doing it earlier and the full wave bridge seemed to work and you rectify it and then you have some kind of filter capacitor that can withstand the voltage oh forgot and we want our resistor here to uh, our power resistor to bleed this capacitor down or otherwise this will charge up even if you're not um, even if you have this variac set at low 
this will charge up to high voltage because it's what, it, what it's effectively doing is uh, you know you have the normal AC like that it will chop the AC up into spikes and just send these these spikes through on the AC these spikes are still at high voltage but they don't have a lot of current behind them so unless, unless you have some kind of resistor that drag down the voltage these these uh, high voltage spikes will eventually charge up your capacitor the high voltage basically wall voltage 140 volts or so <clears throat> and uh, then you uh, gonna blow out your low voltage stuff if you want to turn the dial down so anyway here's our di uh, circuit diagram of our uh, variable power supply this is uh, Dr. Jane's and thanks for watching